Alright, we're gonna check out how to make this glitch effect and how to recolor the background with these super cool colors in After Effects. All right, I gotta make a new composition. I gotta go with 1080p. I'm gonna rename it as music video, click OK. I'm gonna drag and drop the video and I'm gonna press the letter S to scale it down. So it's gonna look something like this. Right click here, go to new, select adjustment layers. I'm gonna rename it as gradient. Go to the effects and presets, type in colorama drag and drop on the gradient and it's going to look something like this let's go to the output cycle and i'm going to drag the red upwards so it's going to remove it i'm going to pull the yellow here double click on it i'm going to recolor it to orange click ok i'm going to double click on the green i'm going to make it perp something like this click ok oh wow check this out this one looks even better but i'm going to remove the cyan there you go, so the text is going to be even more visible. And I'm gonna position these to make it look good. Yeah, I think this is the one. Let's click play, and it looks something like this. Spooky! By the way, the stock video is downloaded from pexels.com. Now I'm gonna select the typo, type in whatever you want. I'm gonna go with Panther, and I'm gonna change up the font to Uncut Sans. Scale it up. I'm gonna scale down the distance in between the letters. I'm gonna also add another text, Division. I'm gonna change the font to Akira. Position it under, scale it down. Something like this. I'm gonna select both text by pressing and holding the shift, right click, pre-comp. I'm gonna rename it as text, click OK. Right click here, go to new, select solid, and I'm gonna rename it as fractal. Click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in fractal. Let's go to the fractal noise, drag and drop on the solid. And we're gonna go to the soft linear and change it to block. I'm gonna increase the contrast to a thousand and I'm gonna increase the brightness to 50. Let's go to transform and I'm gonna uncheck the uniform scaling so I can scale up the width. I gotta go with 800 and I'm gonna go to the evolution, press and hold alt, click on the stopwatch and I'm gonna type in time asterisk 2000 and it's gonna look something like this and I'm gonna collapse, right click on the fractal pre-comp and go select move all abstract into the new composition click ok uncheck the fractal comp let's go to the text let's go to the effects and presets type in displacement let's select displacement map and drag and drop on the text now let's go up here to the text and change it to fractal comp one and yeah, look at that it displays the text with the glitch you also can increase the max horizontal or max vertical and what we're going to do is animate this so i'm going to decrease it to zero and zero and i'm going to put it somewhere in the half of the first second i'm going to activate the stopwatch of max horizontal displays and the vertical as well and i'm going to drag it to the first second and i'm going to start displacing it and i'm going to select the text press the letter u so it's going to highlight the keyframes and you also can make the glitch delay so i'm going to select the bottom ones and i'm going to push it out a little bit more so when i hit play it's going to look something like that and i'm going to go to the second second I'm going to select this keyframe, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and I'm going to select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C, and I'm going to go here, Ctrl V. So basically it's going to go back to normal, and I'm going to do the same thing with this right here, Ctrl C, and I'm going to go out, Ctrl V, select this one, Ctrl C, and let's go here, Ctrl V. I'm going to select all of it, press F9 to easy ease. I'm going to go all the way to the fourth seconds, drag this up, and there you go so this was it you can play around with the glitch and have fun thanks for watching